Hello and welcome to Mindy Mom Well. Today we're going to talk about how new moms with new babies get nothing done. So buckle up because shit's about to get real. So let's be honest. As a new mom, you feel like you get nothing done. At the end of the day, you look at your house and it's awful. You're like, I did nothing today. You feel like you, you're so tired, but you got nothing accomplished. Well, guess what? You're wrong. You are doing so much. It's just something that you can't see you're doing. So, I mean, you're tired. Yeah, you think you need nothing done. Your house is dirty, but guess what? All day you've been either breastfeeding your baby or bottle feeding your baby, making sure that it's fed. You've been comforting them when they cry because they're not used to being away from you and they don't like to be alone and they don't want to feel alone. You've been changing their diapers, make sure they're clean. You've been shaping that baby, you teaching them. You're teaching them that you love them, they're teaching them that they love you, that you're gonna be there, you're going to protect them, you're going to comfort them. And, that, and you can't see that, that's not a tangible thing that you can see, but you're tired because you've worked all day, whether you can see it or not. It, it, it looks like nothing, but it's a very, very hard work. And you know, you don't need to feel bad if you haven't showered, if you haven't cleaned, you, 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 you're an emotional mess. And, and that doesn't help you either because you already are emotional and then you feel like you haven't done anything and it just makes you more emotional and you just want to cry. And I'm going to tell you something else. If you don't laugh and cry in the same hour, I want to meet you because you're super mom because that's normal if you laugh and cry in the same hour guess what that's just you having a normal mom day that baby you know you're crying because it's crying and you can't console it and then the next thing you know it cracks a little tiny smile and it just makes you laugh or it makes you smile and all of a sudden you're happy or the other way around you're giggling and having fun with the baby and it's it's nice and next thing you know you're crying because the baby just, you can't console it. All of a sudden it has a tummy ache or it's so tired and it won't go down for its nap. And then, so you're going to be tired and you're going to feel like you haven't gotten anything done, even though 100% you have. I promise you, you have. As a three-time mom, I have three kids. Even with my youngest, I still got those feelings because you can't help it. It's natural. You feel like I haven't got anything done. My kids are walking around in the dirty living room and you feel like a bad mom, but you're not. You, you're fine. Everything's fine. Your kids are fine. Take care of the kids. That's what matter. You're taking care of the kids. You're taking care of the baby. And you're doing everything just fine. And I'm going to tell you, it's okay if you don't get a shower. You are doing enough and you don't need to worry about if you're doing enough. And if, you know, you're worried, oh my gosh, I'm not getting anything done. What if somebody comes over to see me? Well, guess what? They're coming over to see you. They're not coming over to see your immaculate house. They're coming to see you and your children or you and your new baby. And if they're worried about your house, then they can go home. So just know that that's, that's not the important thing. It's more important for you to take care of that baby. And if your house stays dirty for a couple days, it doesn't matter. Everyone will get over it, you will get over it, and you don't need to feel bad about it. Um, also, you do not need to feel bad if you need to take a nap. If you've been changing the baby and making the baby food, feeding the baby, breastfeeding the baby, um, just rocking it because it's not consolable. If it finally falls asleep, then it's okay to take a nap and you don't need to feel bad about that at all. Do not feel bad about taking a nap when that baby takes a nap. Those dishes can wait. That sweeping the floor can wait. Changing the trash can wait. You need to be able to sleep and you need to be able to function to finish taking care of that baby when it wakes back up. So you need to know just taking care of the baby, it's hard work. And it is 
something that doesn't look like you're doing anything at the end of the day when you look at your house. And that's okay. You need to know you are doing something. You're doing hard work. And there is a reason to be tired. So if anybody else tries to tell you different, they're wrong. You just need to know you did a hard day's work and it was worth it and you're doing a good job.